Hi, this is James from Build a Better Business. In today's video, we will look at video converters. Now, most often, video converters are used to convert your video files from one format to another. For example, perhaps the video from your DSLR or your video camera or even your mobile phone is in a format that is not easily editable or maybe you just want to convert it to a format say .mp4 which is more popular so that it can play on most devices and uploading it on websites is not a problem so that would be actually the main reason to use a video converter and later on in this video i will show you two video converters that you can consider now besides just converting video from one format to another there are several other reasons that you may consider using a converter for example Handbrake, one of the video converters, it allows you to uh, convert your video to a smaller file size. And you would want to do that, for example, if you have videos that are not that important, but you want to archive them, so you want to store them in a smaller file size so that it doesn't take up so much hard drive space. Well, uh, that is another way you can, there's another use for a video converter. Now, the third reason besides the first two is some mobile phones I should uh, videos or create videos with variable frame rates and editing variable frame rate videos could be a little bit challenging for some video editors so by converting it you can actually convert that to a fixed frame rate video so that editing becomes much easier and finally if you have a computer that is not so powerful converting your videos to a format that is easily handled by your video editor can also reduce some of the demands on your computer when you edit videos. So those are four main reasons that you would want to use a video converter. Now having said that, let's head on over to the what I consider the best video, uh, video converter which is Handbrake and you can actually find it on handbrake.fr. Yes, the spelling is Handbrake. So when you open a Handbrake out, this is what you would see. There's a source. So if you click on it, you can actually select a file or a folder. Uh, your, of course, you can also select the destination where you want your output video to be placed. Let me just go and select a file so that I can show this better. Let me just use this video. And this video is in 1080p. Now, I can actually re uh, make the size smaller if I want to. Okay, and change it to say uh, 720p. So, I, I will not mess with it at this moment. Okay, you can actually crop your video as well. Okay, you can actually custom crop it whether you want to crop to the left, to the right, top and bottom. Uh, there are certain filters that you can use. For example, if you want to uh, deinterlace it, you can select it or denoise it. You can have some options there as well. And here, you can actually select whether you want a constant frame rate or variable frame rate. Remember when I mentioned uh, some videos, especially from smartphones, it could be variable frame rate. So you want to change this to a constant frame rate so that your resulting video can be edited. Here you have a selection of quality, whether you want higher quality or lower quality. And if you hover over it, you will have a, a help file that sort of uh, lets you know what is the uh, suggested value. Anything from 10 to 20 for standard definition and 20 to 23 for high definition. So let's look at the audio. Okay, you can actually uh, add track uh, or you can actually remove the audio so that your video will just I have a video without any sound and one of the most useful thing I find is actually this add to queue function all right for example if you have selected the video and you wanted to add this to a queue uh, you can do that if you have say five or more or ten videos that you want to uh, convert by adding it to the queue you can actually select all your videos so that when you start the queue here uh, you can actually walk away from your computer take a break or do something else and I'll come back to it when your uh, conversion is done. Uh, here are the presets that you can select and you can also add and remove and create your own options as well, which is pretty useful. The next video converter uh, that I want to cover is actually VLC Media Player or Video Land Player. All right, so a lot of times uh, people are using VLC Media Player as a media player and I am pretty sure you may already have it on your computer. However, not many people realize that actually VLC player can also be a media converter or a video converter. So let's uh, click on the option here. Uh, with the menu, you can see that there is actually a save and convert option. 
Okay, let's click on it and you can actually add files with, into VLC to uh, enable it to convert your video files. So I'm just going to add one. All right, so it is a dot M, uh, .mts. So in order to convert this video, next what you do need to do is to con click on the convert button. And this is the, shows you where's the source of the file. And these are the settings that you can choose. For example, if you want to convert it to .mp4, this is one option. And there are also other options as well here. And, and on a side note, uh, you can actually convert this to, uh, use it to rip your audio from the video as well. All right, so you can actually create an audio file without the video. So the conversion doesn't really take very long. The difference between VLC Media and Handbrake is that I find that Handbrake allows you to queue up all your videos that you want to edit. Whereas for VLC, I find that the queue function doesn't really work very well. All right, so VLC would be more suitable if you just want to convert one or two uh, video quickly. Whereas Handbrake is more suitable if you want to convert a bunch of videos. These are the, uh, these are the two main video, edit, uh, video converters that you can use. You can also use a video editor to convert, but that may take a little bit longer. For example, I use uh, Shortcut, right? Shortcut is actually a video editor. I just re-encode it. Of course, it can come out with a different format as well. So these are the uh, three options you can use. Uh, two are purpose-built video converters, and one is actually the Shortcut Video Editor. Thanks for watching this video. This is James from jamesu.net. Remember, do something small today that can help you build a better business.